folks, it's Mike from Techaholica, and today I got something really cool I want to show. So there's a little tool I made, I call it the auto click tool, it's not very exciting, or at least it's not very exciting with the name, but it does something really cool. And uh, it, it does automation on, well I, I made it to automate flash games, because when you do a flash game, a lot of times you have a lot of the same repetitive tasks that you do over and over again. And so as a little challenge to myself, I was like, I wonder if I could automate this in some way. And the only way I could figure out how to do that is to make this little tool which basically compares screenshots that you take of the screen and if it ever sees one that matches it clicks it or it clicks anywhere that you tell it to click once you see that. Uh, it'll make more sense as I go through. So let's imagine I'm playing this uh, slot machine game right here and I want to automate this. So the first thing I do is I open up the page and I, and I start um, telling it where I want to click. So the first thing I, I got to do is get rid of this pop-up that shows up right here. And I'm, I'm going to tell the tool to close this pop-up by looking for this X right here. And if it sees an X, this X right here, it's going to click in the middle of that. So uh, first I'll call my action, you know, uh, let's do X, close out. Now I'll take a screenshot so it knows what to look for and I want to look for we do you do the top left and bottom right corners of what you want to screenshot. So top left, bottom right. You can see here that the screenshot shows up right there. Also, it doesn't need to be perfect. Like you don't need to have an exact copy of what you're looking for. And uh, what you really want to do is, is make it the smallest possible picture that it can recognize. So if you want to just copy like this little part in the upper corner, that'll work too because it would recognize that thing, and therefore you know the whole box is there, and therefore you know to click it. So you see here that says set click, and this is going to be a left click, and it's going to tell you where to click. And it automatically chooses the spot in the middle of what you screenshotted. But if you want to get more specific, or if you want to click somewhere else on the screen, you could do this, set click, click there. And now I save. And now you can see here that now I have my action there. And what you can do is you can create all these actions here. And as the, the tool loops through, it's going to go through each action. And it's going to say, all right, X close out. Is there an X there? Yes, okay, click it and start over again with the actions. Uh, if there's a no, then go on to the next one, and the next one, and the next one. So now we're, we're going to start just defining our actions right now. So say we click that and it closes out. Now we got to get rid of this OK here. So once again, we open the tool up and we say OK button. And we're going to say, now once again, you can make it as small as possible. So I'm just going to do this little part right there. So I know if it sees that, then the whole button must be there. And now I say set click. I want to click right in the middle of there. Oops, let me go. And it's saved. Okay, now I save it. And now you see my second action is there. And it's going to go in order. And also it doesn't make a difference, like I said, because if it doesn't see the X there, it just keeps on going down the list. So let's go to our next one. We click that one. All right, now we're in the game to play. And so here to play, if you want to click on, let's do auto play. So look for this auto play button right there. And look for this right there. Let's see that again. Let's click left, right. There you go. And then set click in the middle there and I'll save so now it's going to click that and it's going to pop up this stuff so now we need to say it's turn on turbo play so we'll click for this white square there so I click for that okay and what else do you want to do? Uh, let's do. Let's click number spins, and then we, then we click this guy. So number of spins. So click in the middle. Now I'm, I'm just doing set click just in case that the middle is a little bit off and doesn't accept, you know. But you could do the default if you want. But so then. We have these guys here, and now that guy should be highlighted, so we can do the drop down for this. We're going to look for 
this guy here. And we click that. We'll do 100. It's going to be a little hard to do because you have to have the thing up. Oh, okay, yeah, so we can't do 100 spins. So we'll just leave it at 10 then. And that's, that's actually gives us a good uh, segue into the action list. So now that we could say, say for instance, we saved this and we didn't want that. We got 100 spins and you can say, no, let's remove that. So easy enough. All right, so back to our actions. What else can we do? Oh, we need to click the OK button there. This is OK button for autoplay. Get a screenshot of that. Set to click. So right there. Done. All right. And let's look at this point. It just keeps on going. So uh, that's pretty much it. So we now we're all set up. And let's see how well we can do this now on our own uh, with the tool. So we'll stop this. Let's uh, refresh. Okay, so now we're back in our tool here, and we have our all our actions. Now, for whatever reason, if you wanted to move these around, you could use the up and down arrows. Also, you could do an edit. So, you know, if one of them was not working too well, you want to retake the screenshot, you could do edit. It'll show up back here, and you can resave it. And as long as you use the same title, it will do this. It will overwrite the existing one. If you change the title, it'll just add a second one to it. So that could be useful if you want to do like, I don't know, multiples that are very similar, different actions. You could just you know, come here, edit, give it a new name and whatnot. And now we go on to the config section. So here we, we can see we're a, a new configuration and it's auto um, default to the C temp drive uh, directory. I made a folder called flash under there where I put the tool. So this is gonna be where we're gonna save everything. It's gonna be all in here. And you can see that I've already, um, I already saved all the pictures here. So we'll just, we'll go back and just leave it on regular temp. Because as we were saving these pictures from actions, they all started storing here. So we'll leave it as C temp, where all the pictures, all the little screenshots are being saved. That, but we will give it a new name. So let's call this, I don't know, Casino Top Ten. And then we'll say save. You can see here, there's an XML file now called Casino Top 10. If we open this up, it basically has all the configuration settings that we just created over here. So if we wanted to close out of the tool here, auto click tool to close out. Let's go back in here. Open it up, see, nothing in here. I can go load. I can go, uh, let's go to C, temp, Casino Top 10. And bam, all our settings are now back. So now, you, now once you set it up one time, all that's all you need to do is save it, and now you could run it. Um, a couple other options are here: um, interval time. So this basically means whenever it goes through, either an action is chosen. So say this X here, it'll do the X and it'll start all over from the top, right? So it starts over and it waits however long this is. interval is five seconds. So it's going to wait five seconds. So if it goes here, it's going to go back to the top wait five seconds and then start going through each action looking for one. Now remember whenever it finds an action it just it does that action and then goes back to the top. So if it has this if this one comes up as true as it recognizes the screenshot and clicks it it goes back to the top and starts up here again and it, it waits that amount of time so it'll wait five seconds. Random means if I have five seconds here it's gonna randomly choose between one and five seconds the interval time so it could go through one time wait five seconds go through another time wait three seconds another time one second and so on it'll, be, it'll just be a random amount of time that it waits before it starts looping through the actions again throttle this is leave it at zero if you don't want any throttle but basically if you want to run for like an hour and then rest half an hour then run for an hour then rest half an hour that's what this would be so you'd set this for an hour in seconds you know and then you'd set this for the amount of seconds that you want to wait so it'll, it'll you know if you had an hour here then you'd wait 30 minutes here, and then it will go through. So that, that's basically what this. And the reason you want to do that is, I don't know, 
some games, if you're playing them nonstop 24 hours a day, they might kick you out of the system or they might ban your account and all that kind of stuff. So this is a way to get around that. Same with this interval time. Whenever you have a random setting on here, it's a little harder for them to detect that, oh yeah, these guys are just running a tool because it's every five seconds he's clicking on the dot every five seconds for the last 24 hours. And that's kind of obvious. Whereas this makes it a little bit more difficult. And anyway, so, okay, so once we're ready, we can clear out everything. Let's do start, and we'll just close this here. And now, hands off the mouse, let's see what it does. All right, so I'm not touching that. It closed the X out. It closed out the OK. Now, at any point here, it should be clicking that autoplay. This guy right here, so it clicks autoplay. Turn on turbo. The next one it should do is number of spins. Oh, it's already default to 100. That's cool. Oh, I think I pressed to got that guy. The last click. Anyways, it went through that and got through. And now it clicked OK. And now it's running. So you can see that it basically went through every step. Right now it's still running, but there's, not, there's going to be not, nothing for it to click since uh, none of the uh, settings are there anymore. Now, if something does pop up with an X in that same corner, it would close it out. But, anyways, so you can see that, you know, now if there were like mini games that popped up, then I'd want to, you know, stop my player and capture the button clicks for that that would show up there too, you know. Um, but basically, you know, at some point when the auto spins run out, it'll show the, the uh, auto spin again. It'll recognize the auto spin is there and it'll reset up all the auto spins once again. So, you know, right now it's set up that it's automatically going to play this game for us for as long as we want it to. And it's basically all I wanted to show you guys today. And here you can go to stop. Now, the reason why you want probably like five seconds up here and not like one is just for this point here. Now, if there's something that's always clicking and always clicking, then every time you try to come up here and open up this guy, it's going to keep like shooting the mouse back over to click the guy. And if you do it every one second, that's going to be really, get to be really fast to get over and click and click. So, you know, that's why I, I leave it at five usually. But anyways, now that we stopped it, um, yeah, that's basically all there is to this tool. I mean, um, I want to add on to it to make it a little bit, you know, add a little more advanced features. So if, if people actually, if people like this and start using it and stuff, then, you know, I'd be, I'd be a little more inspired to do it. I want to add on some cool stuff like uh, be able to define multiple actions that you can do. So left click, right click, double click, and be able to chain those together. I think that'd be really cool to do that kind of stuff. I also think it'd be really cool if you had some kind of like, um, percentage of uh, accurateness that you would need. So for instance, if there's a screenshot and it could change slightly, you know, you could, you could put 90%. So as long as it matches 90% of what you're looking for in that, in that, in that screenshot, it would still click it or recognize it. Um, having to do like phases would be kind of a cool thing. So right now it's all just one giant list of actions. But it'd be cool if you could say like, all right, when this button shows up, go over to these set of actions and run through these actions until something there tells you to you recognize something else that tells you to go back to this other one, you know. That would be really helpful for games that have like mini games where you basically have two, two different sets of actions. So that, those are the kind of things I want to add on later. But um, sure, uh, I guess let me know what you think about it, if you used it, uh, if you like it, what you want to see. Um, and check out my blog post where I have a little bit more info. And in the blog post, I'll go through some of the, you know, the technical, um, the code part of of what I did because there, there are some things in here that I think is really cool like taking the screenshot how that was done or comparing pictures you know that, that's a pretty cool thing that you know through a lot of googling I was able to find out how to do that so check out my blog post if you want to see how that stuff is done and I guess I'll catch you guys later thanks